Hello Photopillars, Rafael the Bar here. In this video you'll learn how to plan your top-down drone shots comfortably from home. We'll see everything you need. How to activate the drone mode in Photopills, how to use this mode to find cool compositions, and even how to plan the natural light you want in the photo including the type of light you want, daytime, golden hour, blue hour, and the light direction you want. For example, to play with the shadow cast by your subject. Natural light is so important. By the way, if you wish to master natural light, watch this video. Okay, let's get started, let's get into it. The first step is to activate the drone mode. So go to photo pills, tap on planner, and the first thing, as always, that you have to do is to place the red pin where you wish to plan your drone shot. In my case, I have it, as always, in the beautiful island of Menorca. Then use a time bar here at the bottom to set the date you want to shoot. Let's say that I want to plan my drone shot around uh, sunset next Saturday. So I'll just swipe the time bar till Saturday. This is Saturday, uh, July 31st, 2021. And now tap on the map settings button. You have it here next to the plus map button and tap on the drone mode at the top. Then in the map layers, switch off the moon uh, layer because I don't really need uh, the moon information on the map to plan my sunset drone shot. Okay, let's go back to the map and pay attention to the map now. Notice that the red pin has turned into a red drone. On the map you also have the sunrise direction, this is the thick yellow line, and also the sunset direction, the thick orange line, and the direction of the sun for the selected time. So at 2.39 p.m., which is the selected time, the sun will be in the direction of this thin uh, orange line. This way I know the light direction at all time. Cool. Also on the map, this rectangle you see represents the field of view. The photo you'll get based on the focal length you're using in your drone and the height of the drone. You have the height and the area also on the map below the frame. Okay, next step is to select the drone. Tap on the drone button at the top here. Yes, and I'll look for the Mavic. Uh, here you are, and I'll select my Mavic 2 Pro. Awesome. If your drone includes a different focal lens, you can select the focal lens too. My Mavic 2 Pro uses a 10.3 millimeters focal length. Then you can also choose the grid to help you fine tune your composition. For example, the thirds here or the golden ratio, for example. Well, I'll set the grid to none because I don't need it for now. So let's continue. Then you have another button. If I tap it, you'll see what happens. Everything turns invisible, so the, the red pin, the red pin, the drone, and the sun information disappear. But have a better look at the map when you're planning your drone shot. You know, sometimes having too much information on the map block your creativity when you're finding your composition. And the last button at the top is to switch from shooting landscape or portrait mode. I'm gonna leave it in landscape mode. Well, 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 not that we all understand how to use drone mode. Let's find our composition. To find your composition, all you have to do is to explore different locations till you find the compo you like. Let's explore the north coast of America and see what we can find. For example, here in this area, we have a few islets with interesting shapes. For example, this one resembles a kind of heart, or sort of. Uh, you need to use your imagination. But here we have my favorite islet. The Cocodrile. Actually, I'll rotate the map so you can see the Cocodrile better. Let me rotate the map. Yeah, here we have it. Actually, Anthony Clotter, the photographer of uh, the Photo Pills team, took this shot. Here you have it. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's see if we can plan the same shot. I think I almost have it. Something like this. Notice that the Height of the drone is 120 meters, which is the maximum height I'm allowed to fly the drone in this area. So it's pretty cool. So I think I have my composition. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. I have my frame, I have my shooting spot, and I have my drone height, 120 meters. Let's check now the natural light and decide the best time for the shot. At the top, tap on invisible to get back the drone 
and the sun rise and set azimuth lines and now swipe time bar to change the time till sunset something like this sunset is at 9.01 you have the time at the on the top panel 9.01 pm and at sunset the light comes from the bottom right corner which is pretty cool i think uh, that this light direction is amazing because we are really lit my subject in a beautiful uh, angle creating volume and texture in my drone shot and you know around sunset with the golden hour colors uh, these kind of orange rocks are gonna blow another cool option could be to shoot around sunrise where light comes from the left hand side well this is another cool shot but you know according to a top panel sunrise is at 6 39 a.m which is for me a bit too early so i'll stick with the sunset shot around 9 p.m cool i have everything now i have my plan i have the shooting spot the drone position the shooting height 120 meters the shooting date july 31st 2021 and the shooting time around 9 p.m around sunset one thing before i forget to tell you you swipe the panel to the left till you get to panel 6 this one here you have the golden hour and blue hour times you have the magic hour times which come very handy when you want to plan a shot a drone shot or any other shot during the magic hours the golden hour or the blue hour so here you have the times on the top panel use them now imagine that you wish to photograph the shadow cast by a tree or a group of trees like Javier del Cerro did in this shot which is amazing where the shadows follow the grid of the trees well there is a way to visualize the shadow direction and shadow length in photo pills. let me show you how to do it when you find your subject for example this stone hut here compose your shot and then swipe the panel to the right till you get to panel number one which is the shadow panel this one and now tap on the map settings button again and switch on the shadow layer here awesome go back to the map great and now introduce in the top panel the height of your subject i know that this height is seven meters tall so i'll introduce a height of seven meters on the top panel great and the shallow length for the selected time is calculated on the top panel now is 78.3 meters it is also represented on the map you see that when i change the time you see how the shallow direction and shallow length changes and you see it on the map by this uh, black or dark uh, segment here this way you know at all time the shadow length and the shadow direction your subject is ca casting which is awesome if you're interested for example in a specific sunset direction so the subject casts each shadow in a direction that you want like for example Jose del Cerro did with this amazing drone shot then i recommend you to use the find tool the find button you have it here at the bottom on the right hand uh, left hand corner the find tool will allow you to find when the sun is setting the exact date and time the sun is setting in the direction you want so you get the shadow you want in your drone shot and then when you have the date and the time you can start applying your drone shot fine tuning this is important if you wish to learn how to use the find tool to plan any sunrise or sunset shot you imagine watch this video watch it also once you've planned your drone shot don't forget to save it just tap on save and then tap on save a plan save the plan so you save the plan of the photo into your to-do list also if you tap on more here and then action i recommend you to add uh, an alert to your calendar using the add to calendar option here this is key so you don't forget about the shot now you wish to keep learning you wish to learn how to take amazing shots with your drone you wish to learn more about drone photography i recommend you to download our super detailed drone photography guide 
I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video and in the first comment below. And if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday with another video. And remember that you have the power to imagine, plan, and shoot legendary photos. Bye.